Hello everyone. In my previous video, you learned how to unsubscribe from an account that had been deleted, suspended, or terminated by YouTube for violating their rules or whatever. And it was a pretty simple task of entering the username in the new contact field of the address book and then clicking unsubscribe. But some of you were getting an error that read, the username you entered is not a known YouTube user. And if you clicked on the username on the left panel, it would say, this channel was closed and is no longer available. That's because the account was closed by the user, not YouTube. So I'm gonna show you what I learned and please like this video if it helped you understand the process. Okay, well I thought if I just re-register the same username again, I'll activate it, then I'll be able to unsubscribe it. Nope, you get an error if you try that. The reason per YouTube's support site is once the user deletes their account, no one can ever re-register that same username again. So what can you do? Well, we'll get to that in a minute. Others were getting an error whenever they typed in a name that had a space in it. Usernames cannot contain invalid characters. The invalid character, by the way, is the space. And it wouldn't matter what you try to put in between, it still wouldn't recognize it. The reason is, that is not a YouTube username. Let me show you how to find that. Click the channel icon, inbox, address book, subscriptions, click on the name, now move over the name, but don't click anything. And look at the bottom left of your screen. If it says youtube.com forward slash user, then the username is after that last forward slash. In this case, it's Joseph Anthony 313. Okay, so now I'll click on inbox, address book, add new, and I'll type that username. Click save, and now I'll be able to unsubscribe. But remember, if you get the error that reads, the username you entered is not a known YouTube user, then the channel was closed by the user, like in the previous example, and you're stuck. But there is hope. Just stay with me till the end. So let's go back again with a different scenario. If you move over the name, but the link doesn't include the username, but instead says youtube.com forward slash channel, and then gives you the channel ID, which is that long list of characters, then that means the person doesn't have a username. And how is that possible? Well, in the old days, when you created a YouTube account, you had to create a YouTube username. Then you would register with whatever email address you had. So you really had two accounts, one for YouTube and the other was your email. But now, Google has simplified their YouTube registration, so when you create a new account, you're actually just creating an email account with Google. And that allows you access to YouTube, but you don't have to create a separate YouTube username anymore. So now you only have one account, your Gmail account. A side note, if you click on your channel icon and you don't have an inbox like I do, but it looks like this instead, then yeah, you don't have a YouTube username either. To create one, you have to click on YouTube settings, advanced settings, then click on that create URL link and the URL will be your new YouTube username. So to review, once you find the username, you can enter it in the address book and unsubscribe. If they don't have a username, you cannot unsubscribe. And if you get the error that the username you entered is not a known YouTube user, you also can't unsubscribe. But honestly, all these crazy steps are just a band-aid to the real problem. And the real problem here is that the left panel shows active and inactive subscriptions. If it only showed active, you wouldn't be watching my videos on how to unsubscribe inactive subscriptions, right? Out of sight, out of mind. What they should do is what they did for the Manage Subscriptions page, which only lists your active subscriptions. Now you can't view inactive subscriptions here, but really, who cares? Look, if the user or YouTube deleted that account, they're never coming back. So why can't these two mirror each other? Just show me the active subscriptions. That seems like a pretty simple request, right? Well, let's find out. I'm gonna click on Send Feedback, where Google allows me to make a suggestion. Under Brief Description, I'll write, Display Active Subscriptions Only, Not Inactive. Then I'll highlight the section that I'm referring to, and then I'll submit it. Now, I'm only one voice, if you Take the time to submit feedback to Google, 
they will change it eventually. So submit your own suggestion. You can even copy what I'm writing if you like. But if you're still watching this video, then it's pretty obvious you want this to change. But it's up to you. Well, I hope this video helped you understand the process a little better and keep sending me your feedback. I always read them. See ya.